Last night, Rangers played Napoli at home at Ibrox. The Jers ended up losing the game 3-0, but the scoreline doesn't reflect the match as a whole, as Rangers were very much in the game until James Sands received his second yellow card on the 55th minute. Whilst Rangers didn't get the result they wanted, they definitely put in a better performance than the previous two games against Ajax and Celtic. Before the game, Rangers went viral around the world for their tribute to the late Queen Elizabeth II. The club had requested to play the national anthem ahead of the Champions League clash with Napoli, however it was rejected by European football bosses. It was emerged though that Rangers were ready to hold the tribute regardless. Rangers announced their plans pre-match and fan group the Union Bears organised a display involving a Union Jack covering the Broomland stand underneath a silhouette of the Queen following a deaf age 96 last week. The decision attracted national attention as the 50,000 inside Ibrox united to sing the national anthem. It's also prompted plenty of reactions from politicians to TV personalities. Among them was Piers Morgan, who insisted the club had made the correct decision in ignoring UEFA's stance. He said on Piers Morgan, uncensored TV show, I want to move on to the national anthem. I had a problem with all the football being cancelled last weekend. I thought it was wrong. If you're going to do it, do it this weekend. Now there are a few games back on. Interestingly, they have announced that every league game in the Premier League, there will be a minute silence and then they'll play the national anthem. Then there will be a 70th minute applause. I think this is a great thing for football fans to have their chance to pay tribute. But interestingly, UEFA, who run the Champions League, they have said you cannot play the national anthem. People have decided to take on UEFA. Tonight, Rangers were playing Napoli and this happened. And now that is the correct response to UEFA. Morgan's stance was backed by Nigel Farage, the former UKIP leader, wrote We Love Rangers on Twitter after sharing a video of the anthem being sung before kickoff. Talksport pundit Simon Jordan believes Rangers took the correct course of action, but admits he's intrigued to see if UEFA, quote, have the balls to remand them. He said, it'll be interesting to see if UEFA have got the balls to do it because the climate and the relationship they have with British clubs is not an insignificant part of the relationship they have and want to have with the league and how it will form a change over the years, it'll be interesting. Rangers legend Ali McCoy's was in the press gantry when the tribute took place and described it as fantastic. He also reckons UEFA risk embarrassing themselves if they choose to take action against the clubs. He said, if that's breaking the rules, I would actively encourage it. It was fantastic. It wasn't even good. It wasn't even brilliant. What a show of unity for the country. It was amazing. The Rangers supporters, a group of lads called the Union Bears, put on a Union Jack, honestly. I've got to say, the Napoli players were fantastic round the centre circle and the national anthem being sung by everybody in the stadium. It was actually heartwarming, honestly, to see all the unity from the supporters and players alike. I don't know if there's going to be any action taken. How would I find it? I would find it a bit embarrassing if you wait for punish the team for singing their national anthem. You'd have to say as well, if that's not special circumstances, I don't know what is. Maybe you wave have misread the audience to a certain degree. On an occasion like that, you may be better saying, of course, and to a certain degree, let the club do what they want to do. I mean, they've sang the national anthem for four or five days after the loss of the monarch who reigned for 70 years. I certainly don't have a problem with it. It was a privilege to be there. Honestly, it was fantastic. It was a great show of unity for people who wanted to pay their respects for the Queen and those who wanted to support the new king. Rangers fans, firstly, what did you make of the performance last night and what did you make of the Queen's tribute? Let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's video. Please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Scottish football content. Thank you and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Peace.